back with the 1970s Tri-Sport Z340. As you guys know, I picked this thing up maybe a couple months ago now. And uh, we got it running, driving. This thing is street legal with a title. You can see last registered in 79. Pretty crazy. But uh, right now, it's running good, driving good. And I think today we're gonna do the top speed run on it. Last video we got to ride it, but uh, it was snowing and these wheels are not the best in the snow. So we didn't really get to see the full potential of this thing. And um, this thing does have a two stroke, 340 cc engine in it. So this thing should fly. Um, some people in the comments said they went over hundred miles an hour. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> But uh, we're gonna find out today. One thing we updated was the belt. So here is the old belt on it. You can see missing a couple pieces. And this belt was actually super thin. So I put a thicker belt on it. So this is the thicker belt they put on. You can see I actually had this one up in my parts bin. But now the diameter of the belt is perfect for the secondary clutch. And then now, when this clutch comes on, it pushes that belt a lot sooner. Before, we'd have rev it up really high before that belt was getting squeezed by the clutch. So we should be good to go. We're gonna go to my parents' house and use their road for the, the test. They have a nice long road that we can really send her on. I also tensioned up the chain a little bit more. The chain was coming a little bit loose. So we got that fixed as well. I'm going to grease up all the fittings again and the bearings again, just to make sure we don't uh, fry one of those bearings during the top speed run. So this is gonna be a pretty sketchy ride because we only have one brake. The back brake, I couldn't find for this thing. You can see it does have a spot for a brake, but it does have the rotor on there yet, but it's missing the caliper and the master cylinder. Just so it doesn't get too hot here. And then these joints have to be Greased up as well. There, it's all greased up. All loaded up, ready to go. Let's hit the road. All right, made it to my parents' house. Survived the trip. The little cushion on the top fell off. Luckily, we weren't on the highway when that happened. <laughs> we'll have to get that back on there. Nothing else fell off, I don't think.
All right, that's so much better with that belt on there. So much faster, quicker. Wow, that made a big difference. So thanks to everyone that commented, use a bigger belt. That was definitely the ticket. <laughs> All right, this thing's really responsive now. With that new belt, it's a lot better to ride. It's like instant power. All right, turn the key on here. Let's see. And it's not that sketchy going fast with it. Doesn't feel like, at least. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> this thing's so much fun to ride. <laughs> Holy crap. This thing is pretty quick. Look at the turning radius on that. Here we go, off the gun here. It's really smooth too. You wouldn't think it would be. It's a little sketchy, just because you're like so close to the ground, and you're like riding on tires that are probably 60 years old. <laughs> Other than that, This thing will just keep on climbing. Yeah. We're gonna have to throw a speedo on here. See how fast we can get this thing to go. It's running great. is so cool all right we have the speedometer hooked up here this one doesn't appear to be working so we've got to use the digital one on the phone get the hooked up hopefully it doesn't fall off but uh, I'm guessing this thing goes I'm guessing over 60 pretty easily um, do I want to go that fast on it well we'll see <laughs> it's a little sketchy let's check the wheels over one more time the tires are good Wheels aren't gonna fly off here. I mean, there's not much holding this thing together. <laughs> These are good. Front wheel looks good. Look how look how dry rotted that is, though. Oh boy, everything's pretty tight, though. Nothing's gonna wiggle loose. Oh, that's kind of coming off right there. See what the chain's doing. Chain. Hmm, chain appears to be a little bit loose, but. Uh, yeah, 
chain's a little loose. It might fix that quick. The tensioner appears to, yeah, it's a little bit loose. I might tighten up that chain before we do the top speed run. All right, so this chain tensioner is just the spring right there, which is super sketchy. So if that spring breaks, that chain is gonna become loose and then bind up and probably kill me. So we're going to uh, get that chain nice and tight with that spring, so hopefully we don't have that problem. Because <laughs> that would really suck. Alright, we just snipped off a little chain and tightened that guy back up and now the chain's nice and tight. Alright, here we go. Official speed test going on. We've got the speedo hooked up. Key is on. Chain is nice and tight back here. Feeling good. Alright, let's get this thing fired up. We might add a little more gas to it. Oh yeah, she's sucking up the gas. what we like to see. Here we go. I might chicken out, but we'll see. Pretty fast right there. Let's see how fast that was right there. Just to get a reference. That was 54.44. It feels a lot faster. <laughs> I can tell you that. Okay. Here we go. 12. 21. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Woo! That is... Very sketchy. What was that? I held it for as long as I could. <laughs> it's just really sketchy. Let's see what we got here. That was 63.61. <laughs> Almost 70 miles an hour on this thing. That's nuts. Uh, I don't know if I can go much faster. I know I can. Do I want to? We're going to check it over again just to make sure everything's good. And we'll try again here. I don't want that chain coming loose on me. <laughs> like, I think I feel it. I wonder if it came loose. Feel something. See if that chain's st still good to go here. 
Oh, the chain came loose again. <laughs> That's why I thought that was sketchy. Yeah, the chain came loose again. We're gonna have to tighten that back up. All right, so we're sitting at a max speed of 63.8. We are going to attempt to hit 70 miles an hour. I don't know if we can do it or not. We gotta get a nice long run here. I think that chain's loose again. I'm not even gonna look. Here we go. It. I held that on too long. Holy cow. I thought I was going to take flight there for a second. <laughs> oh man. It may not look sketchy in the video, but to hold that throttle down. It's not, not easy. Let's see what we got here for top speed. <laughs> Let's see, 65.7. So just about 66 miles an hour. That's, uh, that's pretty fast. I think she'd top out about 70. I'm not holding it any longer than that though. If that chain breaks, I'm done for. So we're gonna call that, uh, 66 miles an hour on this thing on three wheels that that's fast it's almost highway speed and this thing is janky I can hear that chain in the back we need to get that tightened up so I'm not, I'm not trusting that spring to do much <laughs> all right we hit 66 miles an hour on this thing. Let's get the phone out and check it. <laughs> yeah, right there. You can see 65.74. So right about 66 miles an hour, top speed. If I held it longer, we'd probably hit 70, but I'm not doing that. The chain is already super loose on it, and it's just really sketchy. Look at this. Look at this chain. This is what I was riding with. Like that's how it gets after one ride. Yeah, the tensioner's not even tensing anymore. Oh, and look at the spring just fell off. Wow, that was a close one. <laughs> Holy cow, well, good thing I didn't go again. That spring literally just fell off. Wow, that, uh, that was lucky. Yeah, I wasn't doing too much. We're gonna have to find something else to, uh, Tension that tensioner, because that's not working too well. But uh, this thing's crazy, crazy amounts of fun. Probably the most fun machine I've ever ridden. And it's, it's way smoother at high speeds than you'd think. It doesn't wheel wobble, obviously there's only one wheel. But the back is perfect, it's super smooth. And the suspension actually feels really good. Which is weird, because it's just these small springs in the front and a couple in the back. Nothing fancy. 
yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. That's that's really fast. Look, I mean, look how janky this thing is, though. Look how small these rails are. I mean, it's barely held together going that fast. So I, I think that's pretty good. And like like I said before, the the wheels all dry rotted. It's it's hard to trust it going that fast with it. So I think we're gonna be good for today. We're lucky we're alive. <laughs> all right, we got the chain tensioner fixed. Little bungee cord, hook two V tensioner. I think we're good to go now. Go for a little bit longer ride here. Cruising at 40 miles an hour right now. This thing is so comfortable to ride in. It's crazy. See if there's any sucker swimming in the stream down here. Not seeing anything. You guys see any fish? I think it's still a little too cold yet. We'll walk up here a little bit more. Yeah, not seeing much. A couple guys driving by were giving me the thumbs up on this thing. It's so unique, you know. You don't see these things every day. And this thing's running great. Alright.
building that went up. New pole building, that's nice. Pretend blinker. <laughs> Putting that on. I'm never selling this thing. So much fun. It's great to go on a nice sunny day out riding. Got a half a mile on this highway stretch here. Make sure no cars are coming. this way. It's like a built-in back heater on it. <laughs> My back's getting warm. All the way around the block. No problem. All right, we made it back home. Vinny's excited to see me, I think. <laughs>
that wraps up the top speed video on the TriSport Z340. Thing is an awesome machine. It's been running flawless today. Zero issues. Thing flies. I took it off road a little bit. That was fun. Vin was chasing me. I think he likes it a lot. <laughs> I have to get the tail lights working. I want to get uh, brakes for the back. I'm still looking into those. If anyone has parts, let me know. Um, and then the lights up there work, so we're all good there. Oh, I do need a new Speedo cable. So I think this one's broken right here. Going down. So other than that, next video is probably going to be me cruising Watoma Roads. Right, Vin? We got to get a little basket on the back for Vinny so he can join me. <laughs> that will be really cool. So anyway guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Stay tuned for next one, and until next time, we are out.